Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new here. My name is Brenna and today's video is all about some of my favorite Japanese baby names. I've done several videos about several different origins of names. So you can go out, go ahead and check out my playlist. I believe it's called Baby Names by Origin. If you want to see Italian names, Hawaiian names, so on, there are plenty of videos in there to watch. And this is the newest installment in that sort of collection of videos. If you are new here, this channel is Baby Name Help, and I put out new videos on Mondays and Thursdays with themed baby name lists to inspire you. So if that sounds interesting, make sure you've hit that subscribe button down below so you don't miss any of my new videos. It's free for you to do, and it really helps me out, so I would greatly appreciate that. Today we've got 14 baby names. I've got seven boys names and seven girls names for you today. We'll alternate back and forth. And with that said, I think we're just going to go ahead and jump right in. So you can assume that the names on today's list are unranked unless I say otherwise. That means they are outside of the top 1000 most popular names in the US for either girls or boys. We're going to start off with a girl's name and that is the name Akari, A-K-A-R-I. This is the name of a Japanese actress and singer. It does have all of the same sounds and letters as the name Kiara, for example. So if you like the sound of that name and are looking for something a little bit more unique or something that comes from Japan, then you might like the name Akari. Here in the US, it has been used as both a girl's name and a boy's name pretty equally. So I think it could make a really nice gender neutral option. Moving over to a boy's name, I have the name Haruto, H-A-R-U-T-O. With a meaning like light, this name holds a sense of promise and warmth. It has that strong O vowel at the end that's prominent in the boys chart with names like Leo, Theo, Mateo. And that ending just seems to be really fashionable and desirable right now. So if you like that, you might really like Haruto. Another one with the O ending, but this time on the girl's side is the name Amiko, E-M-I-K-O. With the love for names like Emily and Emma for such a long time now, Amiko could be a really fun option in that family. This name means beautiful child, and I mean, you really can't beat that meaning. Also, Amiko lends itself really well to a lot of really gorgeous nicknames. You could try out Miko, Emmy, Coco. I'm sure you all could come up with even more as well. The next two names on this list are the only two in today's list that are ranked in the chart. The first one is the boy's name Kenzo, K-E-N-Z-O, ranking 530. This is another one with that strong O ending that seems to be well loved right now. It means wise, strong, and healthy, which are all very desirable attributes or characteristics. So you really can't go wrong with that meaning. Additionally, this name has a lot of strong sounds. It starts with a striking K and it has that edgy Z letter as well. The other ranked name on today's list is a girl's name and that is the name Hana, H-A-N-A, -A, ranking 807. I have actually met someone with the name Hana before and I thought it was so stunning. It's, it's got a feel that's distinctly different than the name Hannah, in my opinion. This name means flower in Japanese and it's been ranked near the bottom of the chart since the early 90s. And something that I've realized recently is we're hearing the name Anna or the pronunciation Anna more and more since the movie Frozen came out because the sisters are Anna and Elsie. It's not Anna, it's Anna. So we've been hearing that pronunciation more and I think that makes Hana feel very familiar and wearable. Next up for boys, sticking on the O ending theme is the name Rio, R-E-O. This is the perfect Japanese option if you like the structure of a Theo or a Leo. This name means smart and clever. And while this video is all focused on Japanese names, this pronunciation is also the same pronunciation as the Spanish word for river, Rio. So, Regardless of how you spell it, um, you can sort of tap into both meanings. <laughs> you can tap into the nature association of river in Spanish, 
or the sort of virtuous characteristics of smart and clever, which is the meaning in Japanese. The next girl's name I have for you today, and stick with me here, is the name Kaori, K-A-O-R-I. Now I say stick with me because the traditional pronunciation is actually Kaori, okay? But here in the US, I think you're really likely to hear it pronounced Kaori, which is why I pronounced it that way, even though I totally understand it's incorrect. But I think that's what you're likely to hear here, here in the US. It's almost like the structure of the name Naomi. It's got the same vowel combinations, which is my favorite thing about the name Naomi. And I think that's what also drew me to this name. This is the name of a Japanese Olympic figure skater. And it's possible that this name could start getting more talk because Kevin Hart and his partner actually chose this name for their daughter in 2020. So we'll have to wait and see, but sometimes celebrities choosing a name can have a big impact on their usage and popularity. Next up, I have a boy's name that has that same vowel structure as well, and that's the name Naoki. N-A-O-K-I. This name means either straight tree or honest. I would probably go with honest, but straight tree is there if you would prefer that meaning. <laughs> this is a, a quite an upscale name in Japan because there's something called the Naoki Prize, which is an, a prestigious literary award. Again, this name really reminds me of the name no Naomi. They are very similar, just one letter off, and I love that vowel combination in both of the names. The next girl's name I have for you is the name Mayumi, M-A-Y-U-M-I. I have mentioned on my channel a few times before the name Miyuki, and Mayumi has the same structure that I really love from that name. This name has various meanings, including elegant, beauty, and truth. I find that girls' names ending in an I tend to give me more laid back, casual, fun, playful vibes. Um, they feel very accessible, almost like a nickname, which is a hot trend right now. So that's, that's not a criticism. I actually really like that about the name. Speaking of which, my next boy's name ends in an I and that's the name Takashi, T-A-K-A-S-H-I. This name has been worn by several well-known actors and artists, including Takashi Murakami. This is another name that has several meanings, but all of them are very elevated meanings. So a few of them are noble, honor, and esteem. In my opinion, this name is really well balanced between some harsher, striking sounds like the K and some more gentle, soft sounds. The next girl's name I have for you is the name Rin, R-I-N, meaning dignified. Rin is a short and sweet one syllable girl's name. And that's not a typical characteristic that we see super often. We don't see a lot of popular one syllable girl's names. I think Rin could be an alternative for you if you like the name Ren, but want something less common, or of course, if you want a Japanese name that has a similar sound to Ren, then Rin might be a good one for you. The next name I have for you on my boys list is the name Sora, S-O-R-A, meaning sky, which seems like such a fitting meaning because the name obviously sounds like soar. And I think of soaring through the air and flying throughout the sky. So the meaning of sky really fits. <laughs> and this name is actually a gender neutral one in Japan, but I chose to include it on my boys list today because I think it's a little more unique and a little more unexpected on the boys side rather than on the girls side. And as you might know, I do like a unique, more rare option. The very last girl's name on my list today is the name Sachiko. S-A-C-H-I-K-O. One of my favorite things about this name is it's sort of a long edgy name that has like a polar opposite nickname, a very delicate, gentle, soft nickname in Sachi. It's almost like a Sasha. This name means happy child or lucky child. And it does have some history behind it. This name was given to the child of a Japanese emperor. So it does have some deep roots in Japanese history and culture. The very last name for boys today is the name Yuki, Y-U-K-I. Another one with that I ending that adds a sort of 
playful nicknaminess. Nicknaminess, definitely not a word, but you get what I'm saying. This name in Japanese means snow, so it makes for a really great winter baby name. This name is another one that could be used for boys or for girls, but I think I prefer it just a little more on the boys' side. So that is all I have for you today. Those were 14 of my favorite Japanese baby names. I would love to hear some of your favorite names down in the comments section below, whether I included them in today's video or you've got some ideas of your own. Again, if you're new here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button before you leave so you don't miss any of my new videos. Thank you so much for watching today and I will see you next time.